Hello everyone, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and over there is my wonderful co-host, John Lewandowski. Hey. John will actually be doing a lot more today than normal. So, um, as we're both in horrible pain and tired and <laughs> got a lot going on. So, um, the... Uh, one big thing before I get into anything, I would like to thank our wonderful sponsor, Hockey Lock in Troy 02, West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Um, coming off of last night's 6-1 game, I figured both teams would be tired. Right. I figured. I guess I figured wrong. So in this game, so the Milwaukee Admirals took on the Iowa Wild today. Um, shots in the first period, Iowa outshot Milwaukee thirteen to eleven. In the second period, they outshot Milwaukee twelve to five. In the third period, Milwaukee outshot Iowa eleven to three. And in overtime, the teams were even with one shot apiece. For a total of Iowa out shooting Milwaukee 29 to 28. Now for the power plays, Iowa went 0 for 3 on the power play with 12 minutes, three infractions. Milwaukee did not have a power play in this game, but they had 18 minutes and six infractions. So let's get into the scoring now. Scoring in the first period, there was no scoring. Scoring in the second period at the 15-49 mark for Iowa was Nick Sweeney scoring his fifth goal, and that was unassisted. Yes, it was. It was assisted. Why did Devin Cooley get his assist? Hmm. He gave him the box. I mean, let's be real here. Um... When we're talking about the first and second period, let's just talk about the ice tilt real quick because um, at the 7-11 mark, uh, Brandon Baddock uh, hit, I believe it was Roland McEwen, across the boards, and it, it, it was a line brawl. Yeah. And this guy... Um... There's a fight, I believe it was Jakub Kondalik and Brandon Baddock. And somebody comes flying across the ice and Josh checks him in the back. This is the worst officiating game I've seen in my entire life. Yeah. I understand letting them play, but to give a team three power plays. And then to take away the one that, you know, you got to give them the gimme. Right. The makeup call. The one. But they didn't even do that. They took that from us. In the third period, there was no penalties, overtime, no penalties. Scoring in the third was Jakub Kondalik with his third of the season with an assist from Mark Del Geizo, his third, and Roland McEwen, his fifth. Then an overtime. Adam Wellsby uh, made a nice defensive play. Jimmy Huntington got the uh, – Wellsby went off for a change because they'd been out there for a while. Yep. And Huntington kind of baited one of the wild players in, and Kiefer Sherwood went off to the races. Uh, forehand, backhand, top shelf, roof daddy, and we go home with a W. Um. Like I did say with the Nick Sweeney goal, um, Cooley went to play the puck, whiffed. It wasn't good. It wasn't pretty. This game was not for the faint of heart. The Admirals now have until Tuesday off. Um, good news for us is we have off till Monday. Does the Reds play Monday? Um. Uh, they play the Arizona Coyotes on Monday. Um, 
So that's our next show after this one. Um, however, on Tuesday, check out our YouTube page. We will be uploading a in the system. Um, we were going to say, there you go. That's why. <laughs> uh -huh. Um, don't really got to talk too much about the goaltending because Hunter Jones played pretty well. Um, he stopped 26 and 28. David Cooley stopped 28 and 29. And I don't know why Tommy A. Pop got the first star. But Tommy A. Pop got the first star. They even said he had a goal. I was confused. Like, why wasn't Kiefer sure with the number one star? Right. He definitely played his butt off, and any scrub there was to be had, he was in it. <laughs> um, bit of targeting by minute uh, by Minnesota, Iowa. Um, it just wasn't. Uh, they seemed to be very frustrated and very. Um, I I don't know how to even say it, but it, it's just. They didn't have, this was not a good officiating game, nor was it a good fundamental game for um, either team. Um, the attendance at the UW Panther Arena was 5,177. Your um, zebras were uh, Jared Ragnuson, or Ragusen and Sean <laughs> And TJ Lyle and Greg Offerman. Um, this now puts the Admirals at two and one against the Wild this season. Um, they got us earlier in the month. We've now beat them in back to back nights. Um, the Admirals' next game is against Manitoba. Um, when we played Manitoba last was October twenty second. In that game in particular, uh, Mark Jankowski had a goal with an assist from Luke Evangelista and John Lennard. Um, and Tommy Novak had a goal with an assist from Jordan Gross and Luke Evangelista. Uh, Yaroslav Askarov was playing his first pro North American game at that time. Um, so we'll see uh, what happens. It's time for a little payback. All right. But with that, that's all I got for you. Uh, the Admirals are still number one in the division at 20 points already. Uh, they're winning 71.4% of their games. Um, we are on a three-game win streak. Oh, <clears throat> So, I thank you guys for watching this episode. Please be sure to check out any other episodes that we have, as we will also be doing a Predator show momentarily. See y'all, and have a wonderful evening.